Welcome to Tenzo Town. I'm Tenzo, and today I'll be showing you how to build this tiny, modern, Japanese-style apartment house. Through a series of simple steps, followed by before and after images, you should have your very own version up in no time. Well then, fellow builders, with only slightly further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so we start off with a 10 by 10 square, uh, dig one block deep into the ground, and I've got these wool blocks here, um, just to make it easier to follow along. Put two on each side of the square, uh, about one block away. So to start we'll need oak leaves, quartz stairs, and blocks of quartz. And we start off by placing one uh, oak leaf in the corner, and then we place three in the other corner, just across. Then we take our quartz stairs and we place five in this corner, just like that, wrapping around. And then three more quartz stairs in the other corner, just like that. Now we take our quartz blocks, place three in a row, and our quartz stairs again, place three. One, two, three. Uh, Make sure there's a two block gap and place three more. And we'll just place two more. One like this. Turn and one facing just like that. And we're done with step one. For the second step, we'll just be using end stone. So you start by placing three right here, fill in the gap. Fill in the gap here, and fill in the gap here. Um, actually, we're going to delete that one there. Uh, bring it out by three more. One, two, three, four. Four more. And one more right there. Put one here, and put one here. And we're going to do a row of six right off the side of that. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to uh, skip a block and do a row of four. Uh, and then we're going to place one more, just one block away, right there. And that's all there is to it. Oh, and I almost forgot, fill in these three gaps with quartz stairs too. And now we're done with step two. For step three, we're going to be uh, building the floor and we're going to start on the walls. And all we're going to need is some oak wood planks. So start by digging out the grass and we're going to replace them with oak wood planks. Easy. I don't know how you could possibly mess up on this part. Alright, and now we're going to start building the walls. So we're going to do two high pillars, and this is where the door is going to be. And then we're going to place them around the perimeter of the house. Now we're going to skip two, place some, skip two, skip one, skip two, and that one's going to be too wide. That's basically all there is to step three. Um, take a good look, make sure you didn't miss anything. They're all in the correct places. Start off step four by placing end stone on each of the wooden pillars. Just one block on each of them. Now in the front here, on the red side, Next, this one, sandstone, stone, and this part right here. So connect it all the way across. Uh, for this gap, we'll use wood, and for these two gaps here on the green side, we'll also use wood. Now, for the other gaps, 
where there's quartz stairs on the bottom, we're going to put quartz stairs right above them, um, upside down. So make sure you get them to go upside down by aiming for the top half of the block, right there. And it should go upside down. Here, and here. Now we're not going to fill in the other gaps, uh, so we're going to start putting in the windows. So grab your glass blocks, come up three blocks high. And on the yellow side, these two windows, glass blocks also. Okay. So for the quartz windows, we won't use glass blocks, we'll use glass panes. And if you've ever seen Kralis, you know that he calls them something different, but we'll not get into that. Um, actually, the green side, we want to use glass blocks, not panes. Whoops, delete those. Hello. So, for the front side of the house, we're going to just use panes. Six panes for this window, and two for that, and that's all the windows except for the ones in the back that I forgot, but we'll get to that later. I'm doing a voiceover, so can't do anything about that unless I want to re-record it. Alright, so once we put in the door, we'll be done with step four. Alright, we'll start off step 5 by placing a layer of endstone on top of the entire perimeter of the house. And after we've done that, we're going to place two here and four over here. And then we're going to fill these gaps in with oak wood. And now we have a ceiling, but we're not done yet. Place three quartz blocks, and then three quartz stairs. Delete that, one more quartz stair, and now we can get to the second floor. Okay, come to this spot, and we're going to dig a pond out. So dig two blocks down, fill the bottom in with endstone, and replace each of these dirt blocks with endstone so that it looks nice. Grab your bucket of water, and just fill it in. Make sure it's not running or anything. Now we're going to decorate it with lily pads, etc. later, but for now I think it looks pretty snazzy. So that's all there is to part one. In part two we'll finish the house, and in part three we'll decorate and put on some finishing touches. This is actually the first YouTube video I've ever recorded, so if my voice sounded really awkward, then that's my excuse. Thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying the tutorial and finding it easy to follow along. If you guys did enjoy it and you love building stuff in Minecraft, please like and subscribe. I have a lot more videos like this one planned. Thanks again for watching, guys. I'm Tenzo. See you next time.